Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here, and welcome to our first look at the upcoming Fragile Existence, a real-time strategy 4X survival base building game that's got all the right things from other games that I'm seeing for the first time combined in what could be a wonderful mix of real-time strategy 4X and then, as they mentioned, survival. Now, this game, of course, has massive military fleets and the ability to invade planets on the ground to build bases, gather resources, and continue to build your fleet as you conquer the galaxy in more of that 4X style, but the battles around the planets and on the surface are done in an RTS style. Humanity's Fighting for Survival, folks. That is the name of the game in this campaign, which also has a PvP and a co-op mode, so it is likely that you'll be able to play the campaign with a friend or play against friends in an online PvP match up to multiple players, hopefully, and, of course, coming in 2022 from the same developers you may have seen uh, also working on, or rather publisher, working on the wonderful Fallen Frontier. Now, this game seems to feature a lot of things that have got me excited for a uh, homeworld, and it is almost impossible now, I think, for games to be made nowadays without being inspired by other games. So I do see a little bit of Homeworld Deserts of Karak here, but also a little bit of Planetary Annihilation or Supreme Commander in the ground-based combat. But moving from planet to planet definitely does appear to be like a 4X strategy game. You name it, Distant Worlds 2 or uh, Galactic Civilizations, any of those games, Stellaris, um, although to a lesser extent. But building units sending them to the planet's surface and securing the area, and then of course setting up bases with actual base building to gather resources and continually building your fleet, and also the ground forces that can be reloaded back up onto those ships makes you even more powerful. So it's going to be a really interesting thing to see exactly how long a campaign or a round or whatnot lasts in this game. I would love to see some very long-winded uh, combat that almost is like a, well, a game of civilization, if you will. Dropships can come on in and drop things off, and then of course you can build your base too, so reinforcements can come in from space, or you can build them right there, which again reminds me a little bit of Planetary Annihilation. Or hell, do you even remember, maybe long ago, uh, Total Annihilation? Many great RTS games from the past, and this has also got me thinking a little bit of Dyson Sphere Program too, with the ability to build bases that can sprawl out gather resources and bring them back to a certain point for pickup. So, a little bit of logistics and economics here, as you would expect in a 4X game, but also RTS level as well, with the production of units that require basic resources such as iron, steel, copper, maybe uranium, in order to build ships and also uh, fleets and ground-based units. There's also water-based combat in this game, naval combat in this game, so it'll be interesting to see what types of armies we can build. Now, all this footage here was provided via courtesy of the developer, and things look promising with really cool looking dropships and maps that look to be quite procedurally generated. I'm not seeing a lot of trees or variety here for a lot of the maps. A lot of flat open space, which is kind of what you want for a massive RTS game. And also, of course, in the background you can see cities, which can be fought over as well for resources and secured for your galactic empire as you fight against extinction. Very cool. There's also warping between planets here, and a lot of the footage in which I've seen so far really reflects a lot of the RTS and base building styles that the developer is going for, but also, of course, shows a little bit of what will be a futuristic RTS, or rather, 4X game with, with RTX mixed in. I am excited for that. Now, a lot of these ships seem to have item cards or uh, crew cards in the lower left corner, so it does appear that we can manage our crews and uh, the ships as well and mitigate damage and take a much more in-depth look at each of the ships rather than kind of throwing them in as cannon fodder. And here we see actual naval vessels being dropped on the surface of the planet from other dropships. I never thought I would see the day where a space ship was bringing down a, uh, well, launching a cargo ship to bring down naval ships to then secure a coast. That's a real surprise. I don't... <laughs> I don't think I would ever expect that in a game, to be flanked by an enemy that doesn't have a navy from space. A naval space invasion. Never thought I'd see it. But it does look to be quite uh, detailed, at least in terms of the trees, and uh, detailing an entire planet is quite a difficult feat, especially if there's many in the galaxy. So, of course, trying to balance the uh, efficiency and optimization of the game is just as important as offering rich and diverse worlds where vehicles and other types of units can move through what seems to be like a forest here with this buggy moving around to explore the map where there's a large city and you can also see farm fields beautiful trees 
and other structures all around. Looking good, I think. Although it looks to be destroyed, this could be a, a settlement from a previous Earth uh, controlled territory. Not sure exactly what the story will be, but I definitely do like some of the base structures here. I see what looks to be barriers and uh, defensive items on the ground, turrets and whatnot, but also landing pads for supplies to come in and out and the ability to make vehicles and possibly provide power to the other structures too. So you have your typical base building, you have your typical unit uh, control, your fleet command. You're gonna have to be an expert of a lot of different fields or at least a jack of all trades a master of none when it comes to this type of game. Maybe you'll uh, be a master at the RTS on planets, but struggle in the 4X elements as well. So it's going to be quite a large uh, undertaking, I think, for anybody who wants to try this one out. Now, as it says on the Steam store page, save humanity from the brink of extinction in this sci-fi strategy game of survival. Travel among the stars and seek out resources, establish and develop colonies to sustain civilizations and grow your military might to push back against an overwhelming threat. Now that's an interesting thing to call it a survival game and I assume it's because humanity's fighting for survival against an invading force but also it could be because in some survival games especially if it's a city builder or an army builder uh, resources are much more key than money so it comes down to again having things like steel and iron rather than just having credits and worrying about taxing civilizations and whatnot so we do have some base building here I have seen some elements of uh, what appears to be a city building type aspect to uh, raise people to do the other things like for example colonizing the planet as they've mentioned so again as we saw before having farms having jobs for the people but also a military to protect them and capture and colonize other uh, cities so not only do you have to manage that but maybe a sprinkling of city building on top of that uh, with building buildings and public services and providing them with goods such as food and whatnot the planets look great lots of diversity water on this planet and of course a lot of asteroids too. I've also seen gas giants and a beautiful star off in the distance, some nice looking suns, and uh, we'll have to see exactly what else there is in store for us with later development. Now with the release coming in 2022, there's quite a few things that can uh, of course happen before now and what I'm expecting perhaps to be a early access title, uh, but a lot of great work here for day and night combat and a lot of uh, space combat too, so we'll see a little bit of that as well, so that'll have uh, diverse uh, universes with nebulas and stars and uh, mist and other things like that. You know what I mean, like <laughs> some fog and uh, other elements to kind of act as a set dressing to make the game look a little bit more than just an empty space with a bunch of white dots, which would be quite boring. But here we have yet another uh, planet here, a gas giant, which perhaps we can fight over in order to harvest resources from the atmosphere. Maybe not necessarily fighting on the planet's surface, but building defenses around the planet in orbit in order to defend it against enemy fleets and uh, their ability to perhaps make space stations. If you look closely, there does appear to be perhaps some structures down at the bottom there, or perhaps the ability to mine from asteroids nearby in different types of systems or near planets. Of course, here we have our warp drive kicking in with a lot of ships coming through, and this will be a way to uh, escort your carriers through in order to launch more construction units on planets and then secure them as well. So again, a little bit more of the Supreme Commander and the planetary annihilation level of landing in an area and building a base, starting with the basic things to replicate your units, such as tanks or uh, perhaps bipedal, or actually some of those units there appearing to be spiders as well. So we have our typical tanks, cannons and phasers and missiles and I would really like to see uh, some point defense in the ground as well. Here we see a ship that is completely uh, damaged it looks like as it approaches the set. It looks like it's on fire so I'd like to see some more detailing here from some of these ships uh, in terms of their uh, ability to mitigate damage. Like for example if they take a hit on the port side uh, and do these ships have port uh, rather point defenses to defend port starboard whatever. Uh, I've seen these trailers a few times to take notes and it does look like there's a good amount of detail on the ships and its combat, and I want to see more. This is a good little morsel and a taste of what could come soon to this game. Of course, uh, I think with a little bit more time, there'll be a few more things to discover before a possible playtest and multiplayer, and uh, starting out small will be a good way to balance everything out. I think this is quite ambitious, but I'm excited to see it. A lot of units uh, being given a command as well to move around, so there is chances to provide air support, aka space support, orbital support, for orbital strike for your fleet as units move around and of course can possibly provide cover or supply as you see a massive container ship there as well. 
Perhaps we could resupply our armies or bases. If they have a lack of one resource at one planet, you could import it and escort your fleet from one area to another and deliver those resources so you can build more units to the front where the enemy is or perhaps defend against invasion. So it's quite cool to not only see a fleet working in space, but also to be able to work in tandem with ground forces. And again, I think that's quite ambitious. And if the uh, developer and the publisher nail things on the head with dealing with the community and getting feedback and, uh, of course, making things a little bit more smooth, as everything always has some rough edges, I'd be, be really happy to see that. I can see some development in storylines down in the lower right corner, so we could have a fully voice-acted campaign with great music, and of course, many different planets to discover. And I'd love to see some procedurally generated planets for the campaign where perhaps the campaign has a, a different uh, planet each time or perhaps it's the same planet but with different landscape, providing a completely different experience for you and a friend. And of course, to also fight against friends too over small galaxies and large. The, I, I really think the possibilities are endless here. I like what I see with details like strobe lights, paneling on a lot of the ships, damage what appears to be steam and smoke coming off some of the other vehicles and dust when they're on the ground and of course a big o galaxy to explore so this is about as much as we get to see for the 4x element but it does show that it's there and it does seem that we'll be able to warp between each of the planets perhaps multiple systems and uh, of course bring our armies with us and defend too a very very long battle can take place here and that's what you expect with these 4x games but it is nice that we get command over each and every individual unit. But also, I would like to see some large scale uh, ability to give your units commands to, or your bases commands to build those units and to have a supply chain similar to how it is in Planetary Annihilation and other games where you can set an infinite number of vehicles to be made, sent to a, a pickup point and drop ships to come in to uh, continuously ferry them to the front lines of the next battle. And also I would love to see some space stations building those fleets as well, which I think we will see at some point too in this footage. In other words, I wanna show that to you because this really looks great. Nebulas again in the background, lighting from all the other uh, ships and such, the strobe lights and other surface lights, but of course the big O engines firing off too. So we're gonna take a look now at some space battles. Uh, not only are RTS battles important on the surface, but of course to have the advantage in space or in orbit is equally as important. And building point defenses and bases and stations in space would be really cool as well to fight against those or to defend a point as your fleets are going out as well. So there's a lot of possibilities here, a lot of things I wanna say that I want to see, but I also wanna know other things that you see or don't see what you may be skeptical about down below and other games that you think uh, are inspired here uh, from the developers what are the games that they maybe take from uh, just looking at the ground units here definitely reminds me of deserts of karak with the of course desert landscape with vehicles moving around i think it just looks stellar a lot of good polish here the planet's kind of looking a little clay like but that keeps things open field so that we don't lose track of units and we're colonizing for the first time so Perhaps there'll be options for terraforming and adding trees and whatnot to increase happiness for the citizens or to grow it for a resource. Perhaps wood will be needed on some other planet to build shelter, etc., etc., and to build an economy. There's a lot of potential here, so it could be crazy complicated with forex trading and strategic uh, ec economical uh, sanctions or the ability uh, to cut people off embargoes and uh, perhaps the ability to blockade, but also the ability to mine asteroids and have large fleets uh, patrol those as well. Perhaps it's not only about planets, but perhaps we could see a massive asteroid field in which we could defend too. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities here with everything on screen, so uh, graphics are important to a lot of you. Uh, I feel that animations are even more important than that, and of course the ability to see things on the screen and animations and polishing adding little details which really make the difference, not just going for an 8K experience, but really seeing all sorts of different things like the strobe lights and perhaps uh, doors and ports and things opening as these ships launch other ships. It's quite good. A lot of listing as well as ships come in to land. Here we can see a few landing craft coming in, and it does appear that they're meeting wind resistance or atmospheric resistance, obviously with the uh, you know the flames and such hitting as they push up against the atmosphere, but also when they reach the uh, surface, you can actually see a little bit of uh, listing and uh, you know the uh, touchdown and dust off from these craft as well. So it really makes them feel 
realistic, and it'll look, it really does look cool. A lot of good details here. Folks, I want to go ahead and show you the trailer for this game now. I uh, shared all my thoughts and opinions, but I really would like to hear from you on what your thoughts on this one are, and if you'll be checking this one out with single player, co-op, and of course, PvP elements. But that is it for now. Enjoy the trailer for this wonderful 4X RTS survival game, and let me know your thoughts again down below. Thank you for subbing, thanks for leaving a like, and enjoy the Fragile Existence announcement trailer. We used to dream of what was out there, yearning to know that we weren't alone in the universe. Before we were so smart, blundering from one calamity to another, somehow we actually got out there. It was a new gold rush, an expanding frontier, another chance to prove who we were, and what we could be, for one precious moment. We were so close. And then, wow. Well, since we weren't alone after all. <laughs> 